Oi lads, it's Dan here today showing you a proof. Zero factorial is equal to one. Let me show you how to solve for this proof. Right, there's one formula which you lot are going to really need to understand this proof and it's the one on the screen. So this is the, the formula, the standard formula for x factorial. So let's say for instance we got 3 factorial. We would use this equation and it would give us basically the value of 3 factorial. So, you know, your x is 3, so this is going to be 3. Then you would do 3 minus 1, multiply by 3 minus 2, and and obviously you, you're going to stop over here, lads, because, you know, afterwards you're just going to hit a 0, right? So this here is going to be 3 multiplied by 2, and this here is going to be, two, you know, 3 minus 2, it's going to be 1, so ultimately this is going to be equal to 6. So this formula is true for any factorial number so you could have 10 factorial you could use this formula right but we can re we can rewrite this formula as the following we can rewrite it as this which is an equivalent statement to this you know so it tells you you just would do f so it basically replaces this whole section as x minus 1 factorial and it's a more simpler format, to, you know, we're going to, it's easier for us to solve this problem, you know, or solve this proof. So what we're going to do is going to rewrite this equation so that we can render it solvable. So I'm going to divide X on both sides and you're going to see why in a moment why I do this. So we can rewrite, if we do this, we can, re, you know, rearrange the equation to the following. We can have it like this, right? And if we said that X is equal to one in this equation, the one above, Right, so we're going to have 1 minus 1 factorial is equal to 1 factorial divided by 1. What's 1 minus 1? Well, that's just equal to 0, right? It's very important. And we're going to have the factorial left over. So you have 0 factorial on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, you're going to have 1 factorial divided by 1. 1 factorial is essentially equal to 1. So this here is going to be 1 divided by 1. And what's 1 divided by 1? Well, that's just equal to 1, isn't it? Right? So if you like enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And there you have it. That's how you solve 0 factorial is equal to 1. See ya. Bye.